Hello there, uh, welcome back to grade 11 economics. Uh, in this video, we want to look at the past exam paper whereby we are looking to look at paper two. So we're going to look uh, at a question on uh, uh, price elasticity of supply in particular. So this is the question that we have question 4.2 on that question paper and reads are studied extract below and other questions that follow. So we give it an extract with the title, how would price elasticity of supply for nuclear energy be? And then I treat price elasticity of supply for energy generated from nuclear weapons. Weapon, uh, nuclear power plants is likely to be quite low, uh, likely below one. Uh, one of the factors influencing price elasticity of supply is time taken to fuel demand. Uh, building a new power plant takes a long time, suggesting that an increase in price cannot necessarily be met by a quick increase in quantity supply. So this is the extract that we are given. And then uh, below, below that, we are given uh, the questions where by four point two one is name the degree of price elasticity of supply that is equal to one. So we know that uh, when we put a price elasticity of supply being equal to one, we call it unitary elasticity. So uh, basically, uh, the explanation is that uh, the percentage change in quantity supplied in the numerator uh, uh, divided by percentage change in price, uh, which is the denominator, is going to give you a coefficient of one. Then we call it is unitary um uh elasticity so um we go to our answer section you see that uh, we have got unitary uh elasticity uh being uh indicated there is unitary price elasticity of a uh, supply so uh this is a uh, response that we have got to 2.1 then we go to the second part of the question which is uh give the formula you to calculate the price elasticity of supply so basically uh the formula is going to be our percentage change in quantity supplied over percentage change in price. Then you get your coefficient. So I'm going to answer session. Uh, it is equal to, and we are saying this is price elasticity of supply. Uh, and we are saying it is equal to, uh, maybe you can just maybe try to, uh, to make it a bit uh, larger by saying a price uh, elasticity of supply is equal to percentage, uh, percentage change uh, in quantity. Supplied and then I obviously we are going to divide uh, this. And then obviously the, the denominator now uh, becomes a percentage change in price. So uh, if you use this formula, that's when you are going to get one is your unitary uh, price elasticity of supply. So um, this is the formula that we have. We're going on to the next question uh, that we are given. Uh, the next question is. Uh, Briefly describe the concept of supply, but you know that supply is uh, described from the point of view of the uh, businesses or firms that are producing the products. So uh, the willingness and ability that is there for those businesses to produce uh, goods, uh, we call it a uh, supply. So let's go and try to see uh, in terms of the brief description that we have in terms of supply. Uh, to the that supply is the amount of a good or service that is available at a specific price uh, to consumers. So. That is a brief description of supply. So um, going on to the next part of the question, we are saying I uh, briefly describe, uh, sorry, I uh, briefly explain unrelated uh, product. But unrelated products, we know that these are goods uh, uh, that have no uh, uh, connection at all, or there is no relationship to each other and uh, do not affect each other. So basically, we are saying uh, if you have two goods, let's say good A and B, and they are not related in, in any respect. We say uh, they are unrelated uh, uh, products. So we go there and try to see uh, the information that we have. Uh, 4.2.4 is uh, these are unrelated products have zero cross elasticity of the uh, certain point, they exist independently, uh, exactly as we are saying, and then product A is nothing to do with product B. So uh, these are the information that we have in terms of our unrelated uh, products. So going back again, uh, you see that we have uh, the last part of the question say, why is price elasticity of supply uh, important? Uh, remember, uh, we are saying. Uh, by calculating price elasticity of, of, of supply, that's where we're going to identify whether the price elasticity of supply is elastic, um, whether the price of elasticity of uh, price of elasticity of supply is uh, elastic, and also uh, is it inelastic or is it unitary. So basically, when the coefficient is greater than one, uh, when we get a question after dividing uh, percentage change in quantity uh, supplied and divided by percentage change. Uh, in price, if we get a coefficient that is greater than one, it means uh, the price elasticity of supply is elastic. And then when we get a coefficient of less than one, we say it is inelastic. When it is equal to one, that's when it's called it is unitary uh, elastic. So uh, in that way, uh, we can be able to make uh, informed decisions in the business depending uh, on the level of elasticity that we have uh, calculated. Uh, so um, 
if it's elastic, uh, it shows that uh, these goods are too sensitive to price changes. So it's um it's very very uh uh. Uh, not in a good position for us to increase the price of a product that is a a a, a priceless to uh, a priceless to supply, which is uh, a uh, which is a a coefficient of greater than one because it is too sensitive to price changes. So uh, this is uh, what we have just explanation of a priceless to supply. So let's try to see uh, 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 to see why is a priceless to supply important according to the responses that we are having here. So you see that uh, the first point. Is saying uh, it's because it measures how much at the uh, supplied quantity of a good or service responds to a change uh, in price. So in that case, we can be able maybe uh, to see uh, in terms of its sensitivity uh, to uh, price changes. So in the market, then we can be able to uh, make informed uh, decisions. So uh, the second point is that it can help as uh, a business to make informed decisions about pricing in production. So basically, um, on the second point, we are saying if we see that um, uh, the price elastic of supply is, is elastic, which means it's too sensitive to price changes. Uh, so when the price when the price decreases now, it means there is going to be a a, a, a huge proportionate change in in, in uh, quantity demanded of that product. Remember that uh, there's a negative relationship that exists between price uh, and quantity demanded. If price increases, quantity demanded falls. But if, if prices uh, it reduces, quantity demanded increases. So it means um, if if the price is reduced, it means we are going to have a, a, a higher proportionate uh, change in quantity demand. It's going to increase uh, with a huge margin. So uh, we have to take advantage of that. And uh, if we, we find out that if the, the price like, of so supply is is is, uh, is elastic, uh, when the price reduces, we increase production so, so that we maximize our profits. Because the quantity demand is going to increase, it's going to have a high proportionate increase. So uh, this is why we consider uh, price elasticity of supply very important uh, in the decisions that are going to be made uh, in the operations of business. So these are the reasons that we have. So uh, this last part of our question, according to this video, uh, thank you for listening, guys. Uh, let's stay tuned for more videos to come. Uh, more typical examination questions are going to be uploaded on this channel. Let's subscribe and share. Let's share the link to our colleagues who are doing grade 11 economics. As for this video, I'm signing out. Let's meet again in the next video.